Hi, it's Dorothy Ghani with Scrapbooking Quebec. Today I'm here for Mercy Tierra Kits and I'm going to explain how to create this quick and easy layered look featuring the July 2024 release called Summer Lovin'. Also, I'm going to talk about playing with product outside your comfort zone and how to use this as inspiration. The Summer Lovin' Kit combines products from Simple Stories, Echo Park Paper, and more. Here is my narrowed down selection. The pattern paper is from the Simple Stories Summer Snapshots collection. And the embellishments are from Simple Stories, Echo Park Paper, and there's a bit of other stuff in there as well. I end up digging into the main kit and a bit of all of the add-ons. This kit is so colorful and fun. If you want a closer look, check out my unboxing video. I will put a link to it below, along with links to the Mercy Tierra Kit shop, Instagram, and Facebook group. So let's get started. The first two products I want to show you are the products that are outside my comfort zone. I'm going to be using that Potter's Clay cardstock. It's like a light craft colored cardstock from Basil as my foundation page. I usually use really white cardstock as a foundation page and anything else is a challenge for me. This Potter's Clay is really nice and it is in the cardstock add-on. I'm also showing you three frames. These were in the embellishment add-on. They are half a pack of Simple Stories cardstock, or I should say chipboard frames from the Summer Snapshots album. I'm going to be using this double frame. You can see I've already put my photos in it. And it's just strange because I love Simple Stories chipboard frames, but I have a very difficult time using them. For that reason, I'm actually quite thrilled that the embellishment add-on had three instead of six. So I'm not overwhelmed with six frames, but I get a taste of them. So I'm really happy. That's why I'm challenging myself to use one. Right now, I'm showing you that I also created a frame style foundation page in advance with three papers. This time, I only gutted one of them. Usually, I got two. There is a tutorial on my channel where I explain how to do that. So that's going to be listed and linked below. That coral ledger paper is one that I gutted from the foundation page. I'm showing you the other pattern papers as well. Again, all from Simple Stories. I have my photo there, framed, two photos actually. Now what I'm showing you is the small but mighty kit. So this is an add-on. It comes with a 6x8 paper pad. Again, Simple Stories Summer Snapshots collection. I'm going to show you I've already used tons of this 6x8 paper pad. It's really helping me stretch my kit this month. I absolutely love it. In that add-on as well, there are five sheets of alphas, both from Alpha Books from Simple Stories. There's also a half pack of 6x8 cardstock, a 6x8 paper pad, again, from Simple Stories, the Color Vibe Bolds collection. I have the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. This is from Echo Park Papers, Sunny Days Ahead. That was in the main kit. And in this embellishment tray, I have a narrowed down selection of embellishments. I'm showing you an ephemera pack that was in the main kit, again, from the Simple Story Summer Snapshots collection. I have a narrowed down selection. In my hand right now, I have a handful of fussy cut pieces. So I have a sun, a couple ice cream cones, some flowers, a camera. All of that was fussy cut from either cut apart sheets in the main kit or that six by eight paper pad. I also have a handful of other cut aparts as well. These are tags as well as three by four cards, both from 12 by 12 papers that were in the main kit. I also have some self adhesive breads from the Simple Stories Just Beachy collection. I have a bunch of alphas and I will talk all about these embellishments later on in the process. What I want to do right now is create a layered photo mat with these three pattern papers that I'm going to be placing underneath my frames. So what I'm looking to do here is cut out three different pattern papers in three different sizes. So different widths and different lengths. 
What I want them to do is to be able to kind of layer up so that I can see all the papers and I want it to accommodate my frames. So you can see off camera, I ripped two of the three papers. Now I'm ripping the third one. I am using a creative memories tearing tool here. So again, I will put measurements on the screen for what I'm doing, but really what I was looking to do here was create three different size papers, different widths, different lengths, so that I could pile them on top of each other so that I could see all the papers and so that they could accommodate my photo. So you really don't have to follow my sizes, as I guess is what I'm saying. You can see Chester really wants attention here. He doesn't last too long here, but Anyway, right now, what you see me doing is just marking the corners of the papers. Once I was happy with the placement, I basically took a pencil and just made a mark in the top right corner of each. That way I knew where to adhere them. And you're going to see as I adhere, I get out my eraser and I start erasing these lines. So once this is down, I am going to keep my photos separate for the time being because I'm going to want to wait to adhere my photos and my embellishing at the same time. I don't want to adhere my photos right away. So you can see I got out all of my embellishments and I'm going to keep this part kind of slow. I'm going to go through all my embellishments and then I will speed it up a bit. I'm showing you that with some scrap card stock, I cut myself out a piece that's going to fit right behind my frame. I do this instead of using foam adhesive. I don't like my pages too thick simply because I have way too many albums. So I like to keep my pages flat, but by adding a little bit of scrap card stock, it just raises up the photo a little bit. And it's just paper that I normally probably would have recycled anyway. I showed you that I did my journaling on the computer and printed it on vellum. I also showed you I had a handful of cut apart sheets, including tags and three by four cards. Now I am showing you the fussy cut pieces. Again, that came from 12 by 12 cut apart sheets, as well as that six by eight paper pad. Here is my narrowed down selection of ephemera from that Simple Story Summer Snapshots collection. Honestly, anything in that pack would have done. What I looked for here was simply a variety in sizes. I have a little puppy corduroy heart that I don't end up using. And now I'm showing you some die cut leaves. So I cut those out with that cardstock that was in the Small Butt Mighty Kit. So that is a little piece of cardstock from that six by eight paper pad with cardstock from Simple Stories. I just showed you the die I used. It's from Lawn Fawn, but the leaves that I die cut are really easy. All you have to do is cut yourself out kind of like a half moon. Fold that paper in half and cut out little half moons and you have perfect little leaves. I just showed you that cardstock that I used. Again, it was from that small but mighty kit. So here are my alphas. Those white ones are from Vicki Booten. Those were in the main kit. My title is going to be Fridays. I also have those small puppy alphas. Those were in the embellishment add-on. Those are from Pink Paisley. I have this 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Again, it's from Echo Park Paper. It was in the main kit. And I also have these self-adhesive brads from Simple Stories along with some sequins. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to bring those out at the very end when I do some finishing touches. So right now what I'm going to do is start building clusters. Now I do want a place for my title and my journaling. I plan to put my journaling over on the left hand side. So what I want to do is add some tags underneath. So you see me auditioning a few different tags and I plan to layer that vellum on top of it. Right now I'm just tearing the edge of that vellum kind of to match the torn bottom of those printed papers. I plan to put my title kind of like a shelf underneath the photos. And now I'm kind of struggling a bit with placement there because I usually like things straight on a page, but if you look at those frames, it's crooked. And by using these frames that I already have difficulty with and to boot, they are crooked and I like things straight. 
it's making everything on my layout go crooked. So I'm really kind of veering off from my usual style because of that frame. Now what you see me doing is building embellishment clusters. I decide to basically build around the images that are printed on the frame. In the bottom corners of the frame, there are printed on embellishments. And that's where I started my embellishment cluster over in the bottom right. So basically, I layered up flowers there. I layered up ice cream cones. Some of them are under the frame. Some of them are on top of the frame. And peeking out from behind the frame is that green tag and the sun. Now you see me working over on the left and I'm doing the very same thing. I was just kind of working on top of the image that was already on the frame and I actually found in the ephemera pack there were banners there that really mimicked the banners that were already on the frame. But by adding another banner on top, it just kind of added dimension and interest to the frame. It didn't look so flat. You can see I've already started adhering. So I started by adhering that extra cardstock behind the frame. Then I adhered that journaling behind the frame as well. And now I'm kind of placing my tags. Again, still struggling because they're crooked and I do like things straight, but I do end up liking how this layout looks. Now I'm adhering the pieces on top of the frame on the left there. Again, on top of what was already printed on the frame. And now I'm working on the right, starting with that green tag just above the photo. Then I came in with the sun. Now I'm adhering the ice cream cone overlapping the frame. And then I take another ice cream cone and I have it underneath. So by working on top of the frame, and then having things come out from underneath, again, it adds dimension and interest to the clusters. I'm doing the same thing with those fussy cut flowers. One of them is on top of the frame and one of them is underneath the frame, but you can still see the images that are on the frame. So there's already a flower printed on the frame. So all of that kind of adds layers to that cluster. Now I'm kind of tucking in those die cut leaves as well in and around the flowers. So now what I want to do is adhere this title. So I wanted to overlap the frames. These alphas are in chipboard and I'm really happy about that because what's going to happen here is I'm going to have them overlap the frame. So it's going to be bumped up a bit and you're going to notice when I place my adhesive on these alphas, the bottom half of the alphas, I am adding foam adhesive. The top half, I'm not. So what that's going to do is the top half of the alpha is going to overlap the frame and then the bottom half has foam adhesive so they are going to be flush they are going to be flat and i love these alphas that were in the main kit for that reason because they're really nice and sturdy anyway you can see i continued adhering my title off camera and now i'm coming in with some finishing touches so Right now, I'm just adding a little watermelon to that cluster in the bottom left. It was one of my fussy cut pieces. And I'm adding a little flower just underneath the tag. There was a little open spot there, so that was great. I added a few leaves, and now I'm coming in with those self-adhesive brads there. So that's what I'm going to top my tags with. I'm going to take three of those self-adhesive brads, all in different sizes, and I just topped off my tags. Now I'm just kind of ruffling up my torn edges and I'm happy with that. I'm just having a peek at the stickers here. I end up taking a little pair of sunglasses, tucking it in that cluster just above the word Fridays. But basically, this is it, my finished layout. Off camera, I added two more pieces of ephemera on top just to build up that area a bit. And if you look at that arrow pointing to the word fun, just above the word Fridays, there are three little sequins from the sequin pack that I added there. This layout does reflect my style, but it does have a bit of a twist. And I credit this to the chipboard frames and the potter's clay cardstock, because both of these items were outside my comfort zone. 
The potter's clay cardstock is very different than my usual white background. And placing elements crooked on the page like I did, that's different for me too. And I did this because the frames were crooked and that nudged me to do that. The result is a page that I love and it was really fun to create. That's why I like it when a few items in a curated kit are outside my comfort zone. It just spices things up for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Scrapbooking Quebec, I would be honored and thrilled if you did. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very, very much. Make sure you check out the Mercy Tierra Kit shop, Instagram, and Facebook page. Take care, and I will see you soon on YouTube. Bye-bye.